Close your eyes and bring your mind to the breath. I'm trying to be ardent in doing this. It's the ardency that takes mindfulness and alertness and develops them, makes them into something more than ordinary mindfulness and ordinary alertness. Because realize that the suffering that weighs down the mind comes from within, and it can be cured within. That changes our focus. The world would have us focus on the world. They found ways to bombard us with news all the time. And it's very easy to forget that the news of the world outside is not the big issue in your life. The big issue in your life is the unnecessary suffering you're placing on top of yourself. And that's something you can do something about. That's something where you have power. Once you realize the truth of that, then you're more ardent in focusing right here. We live in a world where there's so much selfishness and short-sightedness. It's good to remember that those don't have to be our values, too. Because the Buddha has us take the long view. You want a happiness that lasts. And that comes from developing these qualities inside, which is why they're so important. And you want to focus your attention right here. As for the news of the world, you pay attention just enough to know what affects you. But there's a lot of news out there that doesn't have any effect on you as well, at all. So you can let that go. So the mind is not cluttered up with unnecessary worries and concerns. Because the big worry is we've got to get the mind together. And the worry is that we become short-sighted and selfish, too. So you put some ardency into developing, into developing good qualities. Meditation is one of them. As the Buddha said, the search for happiness is not a bad thing, but you should do it with wisdom. Wisdom means taking the long view, making sure that your happiness doesn't harm other people. If your happiness harms them, then they're not going to stand for it. They're going to do what they can to put an end to it. See, when happiness is harmless, well, it is available, not only through the meditation, but also through the practice of generosity, following the precepts. In other words, you give where you have extra to give, and you hold back from causing harm. When you can find happiness in doing these things, nobody's going to complain, nobody's going to object. Or if they do have objections, then they're not really reasonable. But nobody's being harmed. And that way your happiness is safe. And it's a good happiness, too. You look back on your actions, you don't see anything that you've done that's caused anybody any harm. You think of the times you went out of your way to do good. This is refreshing to the mind. It gives you more energy to put back into your meditation. So the big focus is right here. All too often we neglect right here because of our concern of things outside. We've got to make sure that our focus is right here, because this is where the big issues are being played out and the important decisions are being made, the ones that you're responsible for, the ones that really will make a difference in your life. So be ardent in developing good qualities here, because right here is the basis for everything else that's good in life.